Oh, hello there. Hello again. FC Racist here, and I am joined with Programmatic. How are you today? Hello. And we've got another fantastic race coming up here. We've got M Sushi going against Black Pear. And this is another live. I think this is a live. I'm assuming so. Because they're in the they're in the chat here in the in the booth. <laughs> so good luck to those guys. And again, oh my god. So I don't know if you're watching the previous race, uh, programmatic, but um, I had an epiphany about the fact that like I'm horrible at geography. Uh, <laughs> so I right. I know the names of the of the countries and the continents. I don't really know where they're at <laughs> in regards mm -hmm. to like time zones. So, but um, someone cut me. Yeah, someone jumped to it. Finland. I was gonna say, see, I almost said Sweden. But I was like, no, that doesn't sound right. And I should know this because I'm a huge fan of Black Bear. And of course, MCC uh, from the good old US of A. And we are off, heading into uh, the prologue. Let me see those prologue emotes from Aaron to you. Of course, you we got the classic MCC face cam. Everybody's favorite. Oh, yes. <laughs> Has his hair nice and, and quaff, I think is the word. Hoodie on, headphones in, face of determination. Talking to somebody, I don't know. Is he talking to us? Because I can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we are off into City again. So I believe with these two, in regards to PBs, there is a bit of a gap. If I'm yep. not mistaken. So we're actually, yeah, there's quite a bit. We're looking at about, um, 45-ish? Like 45 seconds, yeah. Yeah, okay, so, is, yeah. Is Black Pear the fastest 28? Or no, Psych is the fastest 28. Oh, okay. Is, what's Black Pear's speed? Uh, 2832. The fastest, okay. in, the fastest in the league, it looks to be uh, Aurora Dash of the 2818. So. Oh, wait, yeah, Aurora is as fast as Psych. I forgot about that. I didn't realize that because I just had that interview with Psych. Uh, uh, it's like their PVs are very close. I was under the impression it was like maybe like one or two seconds uh, behind yeah. Black Bear. <laughs> They're in Psych, they're right next It's like, to each other. yeah, it's just a couple frames. So um, for everybody out there in Twitch land, be sure to tune in for that match. That's going to be pretty crazy. And as we just we finish that conversation, City is done from both runners here. And actually, Black Bear off to a slight lead as we move into the next chapter. And on the topic of close matchups, uh, Lev versus Comet is also today. So Ooh. you guys are definitely going to want to see that one. There's a lot of good ones this, this today. So definitely stick around, grab your favorite snack. And um, we'll see how things pan out here. Now, I know Sushi has been running a lot of true ending as of late. He's been running like every category. He yeah. was doing true ending, and then he did some any percent, and most recently he's been doing 100%. Yeah, he just got sub 2 hour, right? Uh, for 100%? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So I'm curious if he's actually... If he's going to go 6B or not. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, he's been doing 6B uh, in any percent as well, so... That's right, he did do a 202 run. Which... Or, yeah, because he got 201. He didn't get farewell, I think is what happened. So, and I think Pear does six B, right? I'm not sure. I feel like he does. He might surprise me. I know that he's, you know, he's super strong on five B. But I've talked with him, and I know that he's kind of like he hasn't really. I think this is a trend with a lot of the runners in season three. Not a lot of people have really been diving into any percent all that much until like week time. So we'll see. Uh -huh. Things gonna come about. That rushing the corner a little bit there. They're still very close though. Yeah, they're still like dead on. It's gonna be uh, Duke coming up to awake here. I feel like in this situation, Sushi has a little bit of edge on execution, so he might be able to pull a little bit ahead here unless we see uh, a train wreck. So far, so good from both runners there. Getting that corner boost. Looks boost. like we're going to be like less than half a second apart. 
Yeah. Whew. <laughs> Let's see. 21.8, 22.0. Yeah. That's 2.2 second difference. Wow. <laughs> this is, you know, I'm not going to lie. This is like way closer than I was anticipating so far. Um, but we have good old resort coming up. So this thing. But as we saw in the last game too, Summit um reared its ugly head at the runners oh. before, so I lost like a second to that hitting that wall. That was unfortunate. Oh, uh oh, he's Sushi. gonna have to wait, yeah. Yeah. And Sushi also went through with this super fast dress there. So now we're like already we're seeing that, you know, the yeah. The seas are parting here, but you know, it's still a lot of game to play. And um I think for like Black Perry in this type of situation again with the 45 second difference on PVs, um, just playing as playing as clean as you can and hope for mishaps on your opponent's side. And it doesn't need to be a death oh, either. Uh I didn't see what happened with Sushi. I think he I think he went for the wall jump shot there. Hmm. Or maybe he just missed or maybe he just bonked trying to wall bounce, but they're synced again. Uh, I thought Black there, there, there is about a second, of, like half a second of IGT difference, so I think Sushi's still ahead, but... Yeah, they're dead on right now. Okay, we do or, No, I think Pear might be slightly ahead, actually, with the IGT difference. Let's see. We got a, an Oshio tap here at 445 it's... and 446. Okay, so Sushi just slightly ahead now. Okay. Wow. Oh, they're oh, making a few yeah, more movement errors. I need to see if she's lead a little bit more. Oh, Pear was going for the uh, um, the up left uh, corner to jump, um, the, the up left into spike jump strat. In the Ooh. transition didn't quite get it though. Oh, is that what? Is that how that trick is done? So you dash up forward into the next room and then you're you able dash to... up left into the transition and then you oh. uh spike jump as you're sliding against the ceiling yeah okay i've seen that and i was like how are they pulling that off you need to get uh either a demo hyper or uh, extended dash jump off of the uh, boxes before it and then mm. you need to time it right up against the transition so it's pretty difficult okay is she doing the demo one of the easier demos but not free I don't think I don't think any demo is free. <laughs> <laughs> the closest one that you would have, actually, ironically enough, would probably be the main one that's ran in any percent. Because you have like the setup and everything else. Like well, that one. I mean, I that demo know. has a setup too. That's just uh, lines up perfectly from full hyper height. Oh really? See? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was like, how are they setting this up? It goes by so quick. Yeah, it's the same same principle as the seven D demo. Uh, it's exactly at the height of a hyper, so as mm -hmm. long as you're at the peak of your hyper, it works. So Sushi getting ready for his second demo. I feel like he's not gonna take the checkpoint just because I don't think he doesn't. Oh, he's taking the checkpoint. I take that back. I, I, I think I think he knows that he, he he probably isn't gonna lose the black pair unless he chokes a checkpointless demo. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to keep keeping it honest. This is Sushi in Oshiro now. Black pair not far behind. I've seen a solid movement from both players here. Okay, that was that was, that was really close on Sushi screen. I got a little nervous there. Oh, Blackbird is going for a cycle skip. Yeah, he's gets it. It's a very tough cycle skip. Sushi in the last screen. Blackbird not far behind. Sushi clocking in at a four thirteen. Blackbird looking to get about four eighteen. Oh, 417. 737 against 742. It was five seconds. And not a single, uh, or 
I don't, I don't even remember where Pear died, to be honest. It must, it must not have been a big one then. Yeah. Wait, did he... I wanted to say demo, but I could be wrong. I don't even remember. Like, but it had to be very quick. Let's see if she doesn't quite get that ultra. Oh, Perry doesn't extend the hyper, so neither of them are gonna get the ultra. Ooh, that's an interesting oh, that is, backup. Yeah, from Perry, that's though. a nice backup. Oh, oh no! Unfortunate though. <laughs> Oh! Just, I don't even know what happened there. He just kind of didn't get the I think point. people normally demo hyper there, but he tried to do a wave dash instead, but he wasn't quite on the platform. If he demo hyper there, it just, it would have worked. Alright, so I don't, let's see. So he he, oh, he's going for first block list. I don't think I've seen him do it this before. But he, he, he probably learned it for 100%. Yeah. You need that fairy. Oh, Blackbird also go for it. Nicely done. I feel like I'm gonna have to watch your tutorials to figure out some of this stuff. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, like... I don't I don't think I covered that in my tutorials. Ah, but... uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I know it's sub pixels dependent, but then I'm just like, okay, well, I see them do the jump, and then I'm like, would it? Would... I mean, it's sub pixel dependent, but you can also consistently give yourself that sub pixel. Nice Morgan Florgan nice. from Sushi. See, I can't call it that. <laughs> I can't call it that. I gotta call it the Risky Strat. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. we got backup, back so. up. Yep. Nice backup. That's an odd place to get cornered, though. Yeah. Through cliff face here, black hair again, just a few screens behind. Oh, don't fade the snow out there. Nice. Wow. Sushi gaining a ton of time, pretty much purely to movement. Yeah. Like, they, neither of them have made any significant errors in the entire <laughs> run, really. It's just overall execution, which plays a big part. So since you had 1016, uh, Blackbird are looking to maybe get a 227? 6. Yeah. Uh, so a little less than 10 seconds of a difference now. But now we all know that that 10 seconds can easily be made up from a failed bump drop. But also too, um, you know, if uh, Yeet doesn't get made either. The what? Oh, if, you, if what do you what do you what do you young what do you young and whippersnappers we call it depths depths corner boost? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's a there's a death. And pair entered this room a little wrong. Uh, with a small amount of time there. Oh. He going for the sea warp did it a little slowly, but I think it's still faster than going around. You're not getting the DBC. All right, you guys yeah. have converted me. You, you <laughs> I have a hard time saying depths, like getting the TH out. So it sounds like I'm saying Debs. Debs quarter boost. <laughs> oh no, it's just called depths if you fail it because you didn't get the coin of mm, That's true. So a very solid kick grab here. Yeah. One, two, Blackbird not far behind. I didn't even see if he got it or not. They're doing some a few more extra dashes than Sushi did. Gonna gain two frames. <laughs> yep. Two frames for dash. Or now. is it three? I think it's three actually. I don't remember. Beps, corner boot. Uh, everybody's just throwing these different names in. <laughs> When you fail it, it's called Death's Corner Oops. I like it. I like it. I like it. I need to remember that. Have you seen the uh, 
sort of DCV meme that went around in Chai's channel for a bit. I did not. Uh, everybody was uh, coming up with acronyms for every strat that had the acronym DCV. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I need to yeah, no, don't want to restart the chapter. Definitely don't want to do the whole thing. No. I wonder. Blackbeard, just go for your, just go for your old strat. That's too. No. What is what, what do they call the other one? The old the old five uh, B strat. Are you corner boost off that corner right there? Uh, dread corner. Dread, dread corner. Just go for that. For old times. Ah! Nice. Okay, with the classic down left. That is gonna give Sushi a good lead. A very big lead, like half a minute at this point, I think. Yeah, I feel like that... Oh, he's going oh, for the okay. cycle. Has he got boy's cycle? He's got boy's cycle. Very nicely done. Just turned it up. I think, I think the only people... Two people I've seen do that in runs are uh, Pear and Aurora, so... I feel like I've been out of the loop. There's all these new like routes and strats that people are doing. It's <laughs> like, what? What is oh, this? M-Sushi, M-Sushi grabs Theo on the first try. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> he didn't. He didn't get far enough. <laughs> the beautiful expression too. He was just like, oh! <laughs> okay, we 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 can't have an M sushi five B without some shenanigans happening, right? Yeah. Oh, definitely. pair pair. Okay, he he knew how to back that up. <laughs> That that's the kind of room where seekers just get in Theo's way so often that you like need a backup for every chamber. Mm hmm And Pear had one. See so she's still getting oh, about that. Oh crushing that corner there. In the impossible room. Almost happening twice, but survived the second time. Alright. Oh, oh <laughs> bounced off the heart twice. Oh. That's always the worst. I hate when that happens. So we got Sushi getting ready to get in the lake. Going for the lake skip and oh. Right. One. He has a lot of room for air. Yeah. Because of those two. Um... Now how does it go? If you go... So if you fail it... What is it? You fail, you fail it once and then go for the original strat? Oh wait, now how many times do you have to fail it to like break even if you were to go? Uh, I think if you fail it more than once, you start to lose time. Okay. Second try usually about breaks even. Maybe slightly faster. Alright, so Sushi is going for 6p. This trip's in tape room. Now we'll see which route Pear does. Okay, he does 6A. So we're not we're oh, not gonna be that? able to Oh yeah, that uh that was um, an ultra to a wall bounce out of the water. It's a little bit faster. Oh he didn't oh. quite get the up left into the transition on that ultra. So he just slammed right into there. Sometimes you can go so fast with that dash that you actually hit uh Kevin through the spikes. Really? Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like overextended that way, dash a little. Oh wow! I'm just seeing a lot of ultras in places uh, that I'm not used to seeing on black pair screen here. So I'm just like, Sushi can gain even more time over pair, even if yeah. they have an equally good chapter. Sushi's gonna need like a 622 or something in order to even this up again. So he's got a lot of room to keep the lead. I need to know what move can give him trouble. 
I mean, he might run into, yeah, he could probably run into some problems in the Fallen. I don't even know if that's what There are like eight or so, like ten or so rooms in this chapter that can cost you like 15 seconds if you die towards the end. Oh, a lot of long rooms in 60. So you can see the first one there. Both of them uh, chasing battling down right now. He's kind of blaring through these rooms like they're nothing. Very impressive. Yeah, both, both of their traps have been going very smoothly. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that's that, that. that's not that's not the worst <laughs> worst death you could get in six feet. It, it, it could have been much worse uh, if he died elsewhere. Nice demo. Nice demo. So we got Blackberry in battle and fight, and now Sushi entering his. Yeah, do you keep in mind that the 6P battle and fight is much shorter than the 6A one, though? Yeah. There isn't that whole, like, second round. Yeah. Oh! Um, that, yeah, was just, that was just a yeah. late left dash, he had that. Or no, he, had, he didn't grab the third crystal. Okay, he's gonna go for Feather Skip here. Good. Good. Nice. Ooh, small death from there. That was <laughs> that was really close. That's just you too. Barely getting by in, the in rooms like these, the lasers are always close. Nice. Can that reverse there to, uh... You don't get why Sushi does neutral jumps on that Kevin. He has more than enough stamina just to hang on to him. Maybe he does it for timing. It's probably for timing, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh. uh, did not get the ultra. It's fine. Blackheart in the second round of battling. But Sushi has one, well, one and a half screens now. Until he gets the tape room. Yeah, it's crazy because it's like. They're almost on pace to finish the fights at the same time, but because of the fact that we have a lot of story element... Yeah, you have the entirety of resolution left yeah. to repair. Oh, oh, oh my oh. gosh! Nice! Nice save. Very nice backup. Good demo. Alright, so she's out. 1950. And then Black has to get through all this stuff here too. He's gonna come in at a 20, 25? Maybe like 24, yeah. That's like so, the only time that I remember. Yeah, <laughs> so Sushi has like a 35 second lead. So yeah. lots of room for error going into Summit. Sushi, uh, I'm gonna follow suit. He's taking a sip of water. I'm gonna do the same. Stay hydrated, folks. It's very important. As Black Bear uh, jumps in first, uh, we'll see if we can get a. S I think, wait, can we get a sink? We should be able to get a sink. Right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this, is, this is my first Con Master season. I forgot. I know recorded matches it's easy because you just kind of like, boop, there you go. But 
Yeah, you should be able to sync in a live stream, right? Yeah, you can. I think. It's it's been so long. I can't <laughs> remember. We got Black Pair in 500. Now Sushi entering as well. So far, uh, Black Pair is... It's looking pretty clean so far. Yeah. Sushi hot on the tail. Oh! Does the Granite Ultra entry that somehow Granite Ultra is a little too fast. Oh, okay, what was that? <laughs> Sushi just neutral jumped off the wall and died. Oh! Oh no! That was just completely misdirected. Alright, well we are RTA synced. Almost. Come through. But, you know, last, uh... Race the summit was pretty dicey, <laughs> but there were a lot of a lot of bad deaths in fifteen hundred. There's a lot of bad deaths in two thousand. Doing that double jump also strat in that one thousand jump. Oh, oh, that that's is a lot. <laughs> that's that's why I always recommend uh, Doom Hackering with your demo button because then you dash forward if you mess it up. Getting into 1500 first here. We're looking at about. Okay, so I think Sushi does the first demo here. Yeah. Same with her. I think they're about 45 seconds apart. More or less. Oh, Sushi entered that room a little awkwardly. I don't think he can get the fastest cycle now, but he'll get the middle one. Wow, they are tearing into this 1500 though. I feel like both runners are gonna go for you know the the, the new out. auto scroller skip. Uh, so I skip skip. Yep. So she get that. Get it. Oh, oh pair. Was he, was he too low? I think it was too high. It looked like he hit the top. He jumped too late and hit those spikes. That might be um. That's a pretty big death. Yeah. Yeah. That might be our our final wound of the game for this race. As you should say, the summit's been... I mean, mine is a really weird death in city. Uh, so far, a pretty solid summit. Yeah. Corner boost there and was able to uh, not die. It's corner glide through there, yeah. Yeah. There with another small death. So is she doing faster key skip? Will pair dying oh, twice to the same corner boost. She's gonna take it safe this time. Yeah. Oh, misses that one. Just does a little parody jump to get over.
They're also doing faster keys, yeah. Usually she doing the wall bounce to save a few frames? So she is gonna get into... 3,000 here... What, like, 26? 7? It's on like low 28 pace. Maybe even 27 of them, I'm not sure. Yeah, he might be able to pull one out. This has to be like really solid. And left route. It's crazy how that has changed, because everybody was yeah. just so tried and, like, tried and true that it was like, no, the other way's faster. And then it like, I know. Well, I feel like it's that way for like almost a year, if not longer. Longer than a year, yeah. Yeah, and now it's just like, oh no, just kidding. It's this way now. And as much as I want to be like, there's no way they're gonna find a faster strat on the right side. What limited terrain they have, you never know. Someone could just come out of the woodworks and be like, well, a whole pair. Sus like actually skip that middle part there where Sushi was at in his run today. Sushi opting to not go for that. And you pointing out that Sushi had a 2943 and a 2926, so Yeah, this nice. this'll this will be much faster than both of those times for sure. Spirity, appreciate that. Alright, so Sushi in the home stretch here. Got Black Pair getting through flag number 13. Yeah, this is definitely like just barely 27 of all. To see uh, flag number one. Doing that double too. wall bounce, that's a very risky wall bounce. Yeah, especially with not grabbing that checkpoint, it's just like... Uh, <laughs> uh, this is gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I think it's gonna come down to... Hit. Oh, oh no, you rushed that corner. There goes the 20, uh, 27 turn. <laughs> Got a 28 though. Very good. GG to Sushi. 809, that's a great summit. Yeah. Speaking of, did you see that Chai... Um... I saw on Twitter that he has like the IL for summit with a seventy. Yeah, he got he got a world record in his PV any percent run after losing like ten seconds in reflection. Oh no! With seven fifty seven, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, and Black Bear coming in hot here. Twenty nine, twenty six. Nope. God, I'm really bad with my guests from today. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Just hit or miss everywhere I go. Alright, we'll see if we can get um sushi in the call. So uh, trends have said that Blackberry usually doesn't um pop in for interviews or not. Also, can we get a shout out to Chat Prog? Look at them, they're just hyping us up right now. <laughs> is, hey, is Sushi. It? Hello. Speaking of great commentators, how are things? GG's on your victory. Hey, thank you. Now, um, I need to ask immediately in Summit, what was that death in 500 when you just wall kicked off the wall and fell into the spikes? <laughs> what was going on there? I don't know. If it's because of like my keyboard, or if like I'm actually just an 18 year old with like Tourette's, but I just sometimes I will fat think my dash and my jump here are right next to each other. And sometimes when I'm really, really trying to go fast, I just fat finger it. And it's like 
it drives me crazy because I look at my input display and it's like I hit jump for a single frame. Like it's barely fat finger the key and it <laughs> that room is actually the most common room where it happens. So it's, it was an annoying death, but yeah, it's not something that hasn't happened before to me. You need a uh, keyboard with heavier keys. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> or just bigger keys. So you just <laughs> don't miss them. Or just play on controller. But <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, Aaron, you pointed out that in your previous two races, you had a 29.43 and a 29.26, and you're coming off of a 28 flat here. So we're seeing some just great strides. And I know it, it's, a, it's far off from your personal best a little bit, right? I think. I mean, yeah, we got a whole three seconds to go here. So we're basically crossing the tundra, <laughs> crossing the Alps. Oh, I'm kidding, okay. of course. No, from the other no. runs, from the other runs, you mean. I'm sorry, I, no, that's my, that's misinformation on my, for some reason, I thought you had like a 20, like, low 40. Not 27. I, actually, I was going to say, like, this run was very close to PBing when I was going to summit. I'm like, oh, if I get a deathless summit, this PB. And, um, obviously I died in summit, and that was literally the death that pushed me over. But I still played an incredible summit. Last night, I was doing attempts and I had a run. It was, it was a 28-14 with about 50 seconds lost in reflection. So I'm like, I'm now eternally salty over that. So I'm, I'm very <laughs> capable of getting a good time, but yeah. Awesome. Well, I think you're definitely on pace to, to make that happen soon, if not here on the GSA League. Um, you've also been running other categories too, right? You've been, you've been kind of like uh, yeah, dipping I in and everything. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, well, I've been playing Celeste 100% because one, it's just a really fun run to play. But I've also been playing Portal Glitches because of the, uh, the French Barrier right. speedrun event. That's so right. I'm kind Thank of all for, over the place. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me because I actually need to email them because I'm trying to restream the Celeste run. Oh, yeah. that'd be awesome. I do the restream. I mean, you know, if you give me the rundown on a portal, I could probably do that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But no, uh, GG's uh, once again. And also, actually, you know, real quick, you know, since I have you on the mic, um, you've been kind of kicking down on some new media ventures, little podcast that's going on. You wanna? Oh yeah. You feel like, um, you feel like elaborating on that? It's a small, small group of Celeste friends. Um, it's called the Content Corner Podcast, and it's actually live on my channel. I mean, I'm not gonna sell it out too much because we're still starting off. But if you're, I guess, interested in generally Celeste and the figures behind Celeste, you know, click some buttons, yep. make some purple hearts go around. And if you're not and following I'll... GSA already, do that too, because not only do they have great Celeste gameplay, but there's like every game from A to Z, you know? That is true. I will say, um, I have listened to the entire podcast uh, earlier this week while I was at work in I it helped me just get through my day. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. It helped me get through my day. I'm definitely looking... great. It's great. You guys should definitely check it out. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, if you don't have anything else, we will uh, cut to intermission. Any final words from the from both y'all? Uh, GG's black pair. Yeah. All right. Well, with that, we'll see you in uh in a little bit. Yep. I think we're both back next race. So 